Ladies and gentlemen, every Morrowind fan loves to laud over the insane attention to details and little extras that the Bethesda developers threw in for us to find even today. Elton Brand, The Three Ashes, Wolf, Yagram Bagarn, just to name a few. But what if I told you that there was a quest that was so obscure and whose reward was just so wonderfully Morrowind that it makes everything else pale? in comparison. That's right, this is a quest that's so hidden that its quest ID doesn't even exist in the game, and that's timing window for completion is so tight that it's almost even pointless they included it. And if that isn't enough to pique your interest, then I don't know what is. Let's get into it. A little higher, we're over here by Sanctus Shrine. We should be getting close-ish. Oh god. No! <laughs> Demons! <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not some Marwin, uh without a little bit of cliff racers here. Let me clear these out. Come on. Oh, let's get the mud crab out of here, too. There it is. Oh, nice and easy. Look at that. All right, all right. Aragorn knows a thing or two about wielding the long blade, apparently. So, in order to begin and progress Marwin's most obscure quest, we need to head north to Voss which is up here in the Shiagorad region. And honestly, quite an interesting place uh, for where this quest takes us afterward. But hey man, what do I know? I And I don't know nothing about supply chain. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> it's a scary thing. And we already have our third cliff racer. And look at that, taking him down with no fatigue. Let's go. I am a legend, apparently. All right, no more spawned. Okay, so I believe this is Voss. Yep, there's Voss entry level, which is a frightening dungeon. Um, I think you have to kill some necromancers there for another quest. But just ignore this. Ignore Voss. What we're interested in is this. The abandoned shipwreck. Now let us hop on over and uh, delve down inside. We got the upper level over here. Is this any different? Cabin. Ooh. Let's check the cabin. I think it's in the cabin, actually. I could be wrong. Ah, there it is. Okay. Invoice. Wait two. What do you got for us? Imperial betting supplies invoice for immediate delivery to Drarain Thelis of Balmora in Vardenfell. 40 pillows shipped the eighth day of Morningstar 3E 426. That is right, everyone. This unmarked quest closes the loop on one of Morrowind's biggest memes, which is, of course, the Drain Threlis quest line. And believe it or not, the fun doesn't stop there. The fun does not stop there. So hold on, let's, uh, actually, let's explore the rest of the shipwreck and then we'll then we'll take this back. Then we'll take this back to Drain. I mean, we're already out here. Let's see what the rest of this has in store for us. Uh, let's head in here. Doesn't look like much of anything. All right, uh, not, too, not too exciting. To the lower level. Uh, which apparently doesn't have as much water as the upper level. That's a little weird. And pillows. Pillows 8, 16, 24, 32. Do we have all 40 here? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There it is. All 40 pillows, ladies and gentlemen. And nothing else. They really committed to the bit, didn't they? They really committed to the bit. I'm surprised they had such a big freaking ship for just 40 pillows i mean you'd think something else would be on it at least right i don't, I don't know again I, I don't know nothing about supply chain maybe jeff bezos back in uh cyrodiil is, is just way smarter than i am i wonder if they uh, it must have been two day delivery that's probably the only reason there was only 40 pillows on there and nothing else but like i mentioned just finding it that isn't the whole story there finding it is only half the fun let's uh long blade to 90 look at that let's let's head back to the mainland and go back to Balmora and uh, see see what happens after this. I'm trying to think where the closest quick travel option is for us out here. I don't actually remember. So uh, we're going to have to hop around a little bit. It honestly could be Dagenfell. Oh god, cliff racers everywhere. You know, I think I really cursed myself by saying that base Morrowind didn't have any enemies anywhere. I think I forgot about the Shigorad region. Hold on, we're we're just gonna we're just gonna take a shortcut. We're gonna all CV out of here. I don't want to run all the way back to Dagenfell, so let's. There we go. Where are we now? Okay, Aldrun. Great. All right, let's head back to Belmora from Aldrun. Yeah, this is a lot smarter. Why didn't I think of that? I, again, like I said in a <laughs> earlier video, streamer brain. As soon as you hit record, 
immediately completely idiotic. Everything goes out the out the window. The hundreds of thousands of hours that I have in this freaking game, just gone, immediately gone. Off CV, what's that? I don't know, I hit record. It doesn't even exist anymore. Yeah, yeah, coffee. Let's walk to Dagenfell from Voss. Uh, I impress myself sometimes. All right, let's head over to Balmora. And then of course, see everybody's favorite first quest in the entire game. Drain Thalas. Literally every Morrowind player in existence has done this quest. And if you haven't, it's only a matter of time. But let's see what she has to say. Bam, boom. The topic for pillow shipment. And let's see what it is. A shipwreck, that's horrible. Oh, all of those wonderful pillows. Well, I thank you, Aragorn. It is good to know what became of my shipment. The loss of pillows saddens me. Oh, it does me as well. A few of those were stuffed with racer plumes. A real shame. Still, thank you for your help with this. Take this as a token of my appreciation. It has served me well. Invoice has been removed from your inventory. Extra comfy pillow has been added to your inventory. That's right. We now have a well-used pillow that Jerain has awkwardly handed us. <laughs> so let's... Let's see what happens when we use it because you know, the fun just never ends on this quest because it's it's still not done. Let's see what having the extra comfy pillow does for our adventurer. Now, let's head over to the fighter skill because I am a member here. Uh, so I'll be able to sleep in the bed. And, you know, ooh, look at that. Hey, man, nice little weapons collection. But I, I'm dead serious. Best thing in the game. Hold on, right here. This is what counts. It's not ga It's not stat boosts. It's not gameplay changes. It's not completing quests, accolades, reputation, faction points. None of it matters. This is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. This tiny little detail. Here we go. Let's rest. Let's get a full nine hours. Doctor recommended. Hit the rest button. Your sleep is very restful on your extra comfy pillow. <laughs> that is... This is the only way to get that single unique dialogue option in this game. And that is literally the only purpose that this quest, that th that this non-quest ID'd quest has in the game. That is its only purpose is to give you that dialogue option. Which is amazing. This is pretty great. Like what an um, incredibly small, tiny little detail uh, that the developers threw in there for the overly enthusiastic Marwin player who happened to run into the abandoned shipwreck, mind you, here's Balmora, here's Voss, on the complete other side of the map, happened to see the pillows, happened to grab the invoice, happened to run back to Balmora and just give it to Drarain randomly, and mind you, you can't do this before turning in the cave rack quest to aid his firewife. You're playing base 100% vanilla Morrowind. The only way to complete this quest is to start the cave rack quest, not finish it, go all the way to Voss, go to the abandoned shipwreck, grab the invoice, come all the way back, complete the quest, don't turn it in, and then hand in the invoice and you'll get your extra comfy pillow. Pretty crazy, what a, what a neat little detail. Now, I, I know it's a bit of a shorter video than usual, but I just got reminded of this and had to share. So thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to hit that big red button down there and I will catch you on the next one.